Hi everyone, let us discuss about the cloud migration strategies. In case if you want to move your applications or servers to the cloud, you have to follow one of the migration strategy. So let us see what uh, those six migration strategies. One is rehosting. Rehosting is um, easiest way of uh, moving to the cloud. It is also called as lift and shift. Uh, it can be done either manual or by using automate, uh, automated migration tools. Uh, let us take an example uh, that you have 30 servers on premises and you, you want to add 30 more servers, but you don't want to spend on the infrastructure uh, in on premises. In that case, you can add those 30 servers on the one of the cloud, uh, cloud systems uh, by using either manually or automated um, migration tools. The second R is replatforming. It is also called Live Tinker and Shift. So part of this, you can either part of the application or complete application, uh, you can move to the main services. Example, you have um, SQL Server, which is maintained uh, under your servers, but uh, moving on, you want to move it to the main service, such as Azure SQL, or RDS or Cloud SQL from the GCP. So uh, the advantage here is like you don't need to maintain the uh, number of servers for this. Uh, instead, you can just move to the uh, main service. The other example is like you have a web application hosted on your uh, own uh, on-premises physical mission, and then you can simply move that to the app services, which is again main service by the Azure. Similarly, you have Elastic Beanstack, or app engine from the GCP. The third R is repurchasing or replacing. So it is moving from one product to a different product. Example, you are using some XYZ software uh, and then you want to move it to the cloud by using some ABC software. So that's an example like moving CRM to the Salesforce or uh, HR system to the workday. So the fourth R is refactoring slash re-architecting. So this is reimagine how the application is architected, typically to use the complete power of the cloud and the cloud native features. So example is like mono, you have a monolithic application which is already written, but you want to move it to the microservices architecture. So part of the code can be reused, but you have to completely re-architect and split the complete code into the microservices. The other example is uh, you have a SQL server and you want to move it to the NoSQL, which is MongoDB or Cosmos DB or DynamoDB. Then you will need to uh, redesign your database as per the uh, NoSQL standards. So the next R is retail. Imagine that you have done the applications, you, you have built the applications uh, 10, 20 years ago and then uh, I mean, no use of re-architecting. You need to completely revisit the whole application development and see how it works. So but get, get rid of the whole system and rebuild it. Then last one is retain. Imagine that you have already built uh, recent times and you don't see any return of investment. There's no value of uh, moving to the cloud, then better keep it as, as it is don't make any changes so this small chart will help you to understand how you can process from the uh, discovery phase to the production so the the major four uh, strategies are defined here with the steps first uh, this is a common step that is discover assess and prioritize your applications then you select your path whether you want to go with the rehosting platform or repurchasing refactoring. So if you have selected rehosting as your migration path, then you have again two ways to perform. One is manual installation, complete manual process. The second step is like use automation of migration tool. So every cloud provider has their own migration tools. Uh, Azure has Azure Migrate. AWS has a migration hub, okay? And then you come go ahead with the next steps to perform validation and transition, go with the production. 
So in case if you have chosen replatforming as your uh, migration path, then you can determine your new platform. Example, you have you are using SQL Server and you want to move to the SQL Azure, or you want to move to the RDS, then you can modify underlying infrastructure and then go ahead with your data migration to the cloud and then go ahead with the validation transition and production if you have chosen repurchasing as your migration path then you have to buy your licenses after purchasing your license example uh, from crm to the uh, salesforce so you have to manually install and set up those things on the cloud and then go ahead with the next steps if you have selected the refactoring as your migration path then you have to redesign your complete application architecture and then you have to build the uh, code according to your changes then you have to perform your application life management or uh, software development life cycle management completely here and then integrate the code go with the validation and transition production refactoring is the most uh, costliest fa so be careful while when you decide refactoring also try to perform some piloting for any of this strategy each strategy has a lot of details i'll come up with the individual presentations for each of this strategy we have listed only four strategies here because retain and retain doesn't have nothing to do with these things thanks for listening to me i'll come up with more videos